Hello Cancer, welcome back to Spirit's Path. And this is your September horoscope for 2021. And just to recap, this is the year of the ancestor. So you're walking to your universal beat. You're dedicated to walking through those uh, birch trees and uh, walking on your spiritual path. In January, which is a great time to start, right? You were reborn with that eight of vessels in rebirth. Uh, the King of Bows showed up in February and asked you where do you need to take charge as well as where is your enthusiasm leading leading you. And after, you know, being reborn, you got a clean slate. You were, you were poised to do whatever you wanted to do. And then the Queen of Vessels showed up and she's asking you where, where do you need to sacrifice yourself, right? Where is the sacrifice, all right? Or what is enchanting you to, you know, move up that stream, all right? What do you need to devote yourself to? And that was in March. So, you know, you, you took charge, you devoted yourself to things, and that led you to the hooded man with that staff of wisdom and that light of hope, talking to the page of wren, uh, page of arrows, the wren, you now the smartest bird out there. And, you know, while looking within, you realize that, you know, hey, uh, in May, you know, this was the end of the cycle. You've walked that maze, you've walked that labyrinth, okay? And you're ready to go through uh, with this life lessons card and start, you know, start anew. You know, you started it off the year with the rebirth and, you know, you move forward. And in May, it was just kind of like, okay, it's time to start a new cycle, right? And in, in June, it was all about the shaman, manifesting whatever you wanted. So, you, you know, three life lesson cards in a row uh, you know, May, June, and July, and you can manifest whatever you wanted to manifest. July was all about celebrating, you know. Part of July is your birthday month, and, you know, the good thing about that is, is, you know, you celebrated your birthday in July, all right? You celebrated it with others. And in August, it's all about the Six of Vessels and Reunion, all right? And, you know, getting together at family reunions or getting together in, uh, you know, work, work situations. But taking the time to, you know, get together and, um, you know, reunifying yourself with spirit, with your colleagues, your companions, family members, however you want to look at it, right? So here, you know, you, you manifested some things in June and, and as you're celebrating, you know, things are, are looking good for you, okay? So, you know, August was all about, you know, hanging out with others and, you know, maybe class class reunions, however you want to look at it. Let's see what September holds for you, Cancer. So we're going to do one card for the theme, and then I'll do uh, four cards for each week, like I've, I've done here the last couple months. This month going to be a struggle for you. September is going to be a struggle for you, Cancer. Um, now, you know, right off the bat, you know, you've got that beacon of hope, okay, because, you know, you've carried that from the hooded man, and you've got the staff, too, all right? Now, arrows is all about uh, air, logic, reasoning, okay, and, uh, you know, maybe you're getting ready to do something, after trying to, you know, manifest and, you know, starting this new, this new thing you celebrated, maybe it's time to get back to work, right? Back to school, back to learning. And, uh, you know, after a summer of fun, it's kind of hard to go back and do something like that. You know, so there's going to be some struggle going on, you know, getting back into the swing of things, maybe taking kids to school and, you know, if COVID's lifted, you know, getting back into that new, that normal that was before COVID started, right? And maybe things have changed within the family dynamics. Maybe things have changed within work. You know, if you're required to go back to work instead of being remote, right? That could be a struggle. You might have to look at different things. But you still, like I said, you've got that light of hope sitting there, right? So let's look at that first week, Cancer. That first week is going to be represented by the King of Vessels and the Heron. So there's, there's, there's some heavy emotional aspects going into that first week of um first week of september second week is represented by the knight of bows and the fox so you hear you've got kingly advice you've got an opportunity to be a fighter tactician during that second week um 
Maybe you're looking at different ways to not struggle, right? Then you've got the Seven of Stones healing in that third week, Cancer. So it's going to be a good time to take some downtime to rejuvenate, revigorate your soul, to possibly do some healing on your own. And then in the fourth week, you got the Ace of Vessels in the Waters of Life. So, you know, you start the month off with that Eight of Vessels, or Eight of Arrows in Struggle. And then the King, you know, King shows up that first week. Now, the king's going to ask you, you know, where do you need to be more tolerant? Now, the king king knows his kingdom. Vessels is all about water energy, free-flowing energy. You know, and you've got that stream behind you. So, you know, maybe he's going to tell you, you know, it doesn't have to be hard. Look behind you. You know, look at that stream. You don't have to struggle with this because this could be free-flowing. Okay? And maybe that stream is, is actually, maybe it's doing this. Maybe that stream is leading into into him right and he wants you to know that you need to be tolerant with with your emotions you know where do you need to be more tolerant with them and as an aspect of that um you know he's also asking you the question of um you know who's depending on you for support right you're, de you're dependent upon that bow for support this month and that light of hope. But he's asking you to look around. Look for some free-flowing energy, okay, to not give you that, to let you know to get your emotions back in check. Okay, so it's not a struggle. So, you're, you know, you can go back and, you know, have that four bow celebration like you did back in July, right? You know, you've got free-flowing water here in August as well. So... You know, even though things might be getting a little hectic with kids going back to school and maybe you have to go back to work, all right, Cancer? It's also an opportunity to say, I have to look at how things are flowing to have a better flow of things. And maybe I need to, you know, ask for some help around that. You know, and that's where that Knight of Bows comes in in that, in that second, second week. You know, the Knight of Bows at Fox... You know, knights are fighters and tacticians, and, and bows all about create, creativity and fire and action. Okay, so, you know, with the heron sitting there going, you know, you need to have free-flowing activity, okay, and then the knight coming in the second week, right, it's what opportunity are you seizing in this situation? Are you seizing one where it's, you know, it's going to be a negative attitude? Or are you seizing one in positive attitude to, to be, you know, free-flowing? Okay. And then the other question that, the, that Fox asks is what details are you ignoring? Have you looked at everything to help with the free-flowing energy that, that the king has given you? All right? And if you can answer those questions, the third week's going to set you up. That even though this is a struggle... All right. It's going to allow you the time to heal. It's going to allow you the time to, you know, get a massage. All right. It's going to allow you the time to, you know, get into the flow of spirit to help heal yourself spiritually, physically, psych psychologically. All right. Take some time for yourself and reinvigorate and rejuvenate yourself. Letting things heal, and that could be a relationship as well, right? And let's say, you know, let's say this is a relationship, and it's general. These are general readings, Cancer. Okay, maybe, maybe month of September is going to be a struggle for you, and there's going to be some emotional, emotional, you know, high emotions. Okay, but you need to be tolerant of those. And the night's going to tell you, you know, hey, are you seizing the right opportunity? What details are you are you are you missing or ignoring? All right. And then the third week is just going to be like, you know what? I'm done. I'm just going to kick back and I'm going to relax. I'm not going to get stressed out over this, you know, because I don't, I don't want it to be a struggle. I want it to be easy, free-flowing energy. And then, and then when you do that, that fourth week, that, that ace of vessels, the waters of life show up. So, you know, you, you've got a lot of vessels in your chart for this, this year. Okay, and with that being said, with the king starting out the month and the ace ending the month, you know, what, you, what you're doing is you're just looking at that water that's behind you. And you're saying, you know what? If, if I live 
in free flowing and follow this river to its end, I'm not going to struggle. I'm going to have the waters of life and that's going to sustain me. You know, maybe you, maybe you feel like you're hungry here. All right? That water will fill you up. That'll nourish you to get to where you want to be. And, you know, and it all stems from that seven of stones healing from the week before. Okay? You're going to take that safety and that security of knowing, all right, that everything's going good for you. And then you're going to be able to take a step back and say, you know, where there's water, there's life. And, you know, if I follow the water, it won't be a struggle for me. I don't have to worry about this, this bleak landscape holding me back. I can, you know, I can let the beacon of hope, you know, continue to shine and I can rely on the staff of wisdom to get me to where I need to be. And that's, you know, it doesn't have to be a struggle for you in September, Cancer. And if it is, turn around, look for that water. See where it's flowing. And let that beacon of hope guide you to, you know, to the knight and the king. All right, so there you have it. That's the, uh, the card of the month for you, Cancer, that uh, eight, of us, eight of arrows, I should say, struggle. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others. And this is D for Spirit's Path. We'll talk to you in the month of October. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.